Afternoon, it's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of day's trading session, the 4th of September 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so by looking at the stats today, it seems like the North Korean situation didn't even occur, uh, given the fact that European markets really, uh, what can we say, um, certainly lackluster. I mean, let's just say the uh, the actual uh, reverberations certainly were not uh, exemplified uh, or uh, certainly factored in in any way whatsoever from my perspective, given the fact that the FTSE is only down 20 points, DAX is only down 40 points, 0.3% uh, losses, I mean, that's nothing. CAC is down 20 points, nothing. Okay, even though the Euro USD certainly has risen above 1.19, uh, Euro GBP certainly rising as well, still having no effect at all in European equities, okay. Certainly seems like everybody's uh, attempting a, a short squeeze going into Mr. Draghi this week. So, again, that certainly is another factor as well, whether Mr. Draghi certainly talks down the euro, okay, or he remains neutral. If he remains neutral, you're looking at 1.25. If he starts to talk uh, the euro down, then obviously you're looking at 1.15. So, it really is between those two, okay, between those two extremes. Either way, that's a situation or status quo at present, okay. You're looking at breaking 1.2. Uh, the way things stand already at the moment, okay? Uh, now, again, it certainly seems like the situation in North Korea, like I said, again, certainly is having no impact at all. Weaker NFP data is certainly having no impact either on European equities. They certainly seem to be sh happy uh, where they stand. A 0.3% sell-off on the back of North Korea, especially te test firing this uh, so-called uh, H-bomb, certainly is, is baffled me, okay? Whether it's QE, whether it's markets are, uh, are, are are not really reacting due to the fact that it's Labor Day in the US and there's light volume. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Either way, uh, it certainly seems from my perspective, the markets certainly seem to be unfazed and uh, it's just facing a status quo, which means obviously markets ramp higher. In terms of economic data today, uh, we had uh, European Centix investor confidence coming in stronger than expected. Uh, European PPIs certainly coming in weaker than expected. So again, uh, that may well be a factor that, that given, the, uh, uh, given the fact that the markets bounced off gap fill. If you look at German DAX here, German DAX certainly bounced. You can see here it gap lower and then obviously bounced up, closed the gap on the back of that weaker inflation number, obviously indicating that Draghi will be more dovish and therefore obviously helping European equities to a large extent, even though that certainly didn't. Uh, represent itself in the euro euro usd still managed to close above 1.19 regardless given the fact that it was below 1.19 at one stage okay so right the way that's the status quo uh Centix european uh, investor confidence certainly stronger than expected so again that's certainly helping european equities although having said that uh, spanish unemployment certainly did rise okay so that was a negative factor so that's where we stand in terms of german dax 60 minute chart on the german dax has put in a lower high Okay, so either we put a, we go back higher and test that 12,180, 12,200 and potentially break higher on the back of a dovish draggy and given the fact the markets don't care about North Korea or we move lower on the back of stronger volume and the US market is certainly selling off. Now my, uh, my understanding and my interpretation is that we go lower, okay. I certainly have a NASDAQ short active, so just may certainly declaring my uh, current uh, obviously positions which again is biased to a large extent. But I'm certainly favoring the short side, okay? You do have two unfilled gaps below, okay? The Euro USD is above 1.19, certainly that's a bearish factor. French CAC, okay, let's go to the French CAC. Now, daily chart at the moment, you can see bearish engulfing candles certainly closing lower. Uh, you do have an unfilled gap below on the daily chart, so watch out for that. Uh, let's just quickly go over to the French CAC here. Here we go, okay, so French CAC 10 minute chart. We pushed higher, we held resistance at 5114. And then we flush towards the close. Okay, so we certainly flush lower uh, towards the close. Uh, you are looking at potential retest that pivot low at 5090. Uh, certainly didn't occur. We we certainly held that unfilled gap above at 5124. You do have another unfilled gap below at 5055. So watch out for that. You do have a lower high as well. Okay, so be mindful of that. You do have two multiple unfilled gaps below. Again, so certainly be mindful of that. You have held 50%. Resistance, okay, so just be made 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 aware of that. Also, that's another bearish factor to consider as well. Okay, uh, in terms of the euro stocks, let's just quickly cover the euro stocks as well. Euro stocks certainly held that key resistance here, okay, at uh, three four three eight, which is previous support equals resistance two. Certainly coincided there. 
Okay, you do have unfilled gap below, that will certainly close and we bounce from 3420. You do have another unfilled gap below at 3400 and that's certainly the gap that I'll be targeting. You can clearly see the H&S formation brewing here, okay? So you can see here the right shoulder certainly going in on the back of that fib retracement, pivot high to pivot low, and you can see we've held that fib 50%. Okay, so again, looking for risk off, risk off down into gap, fill at 3400, so that's basically what I'd be expecting. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100, again, an impressive move on the FTSE today. Uh, I certainly didn't expect this strength in the FTSE, especially, uh, I mean, having said that, though, you, you certainly have copper and oil still remaining afloat, okay, regardless. I was expecting the gap below. I was expecting the gap below at uh, 7,365 to close, okay. Uh, I'll potentially even a retest of this previous resistance equals, uh, or equals support at 7,380. Uh, we certainly seem to have held on to that 7400 zone. We, we even, I mean, we failed to even uh, attempt to even trigger any any stops below 700, which is pretty impressive. Okay, pretty impressive given the fact that North Korean concerns it obviously remain. So, uh, the unfilled gap remains uh, on the uh, FTSE at 7438. Just be wary of that. Okay, we did reject. We have obviously gone into a series of lower lows and lower highs. We did bounce from that 7405 level. So watch out there up to 7425 before we obviously gave back the, uh, the, the the actual any gains at all so nevertheless pretty impressive given the fact that we close around the 7410 i mean down 30 points or 20 points nothing really given the uh, concerns or geopolitical tensions from north korea certainly expecting another thrust lower down to 738 you got a 7365 ideally to cap fill and 7380 once we break 7400 uh, and i think that will occur once the uh, volume increases given the fact that US markets come back online. Okay, I think that's a market wrap, folks. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Be sure to go to TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.